Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, after a few lessons talking about openings, I wanted to just sort of wrap up by playing a few games myself. And I'm going to try to play the openings that we have learned in the last few sessions. So I'm playing with my account, so I'm, I'm hoping to find a, a really strong player. And the way you can see how we use those openings um, at this level. So I'm going to just play a 3-2 game, because that way the, the, the class is not so long. But I also have time to explain and go over the moves as, as we play this game. So I'm going to hit play. I'm looking for someone. And I'm playing a 23-15. So I'm going to start with E4. So um, let me actually go here. Oh, he played E5. Perfect. So sound, save. So here, after E4, E5, I'm going to do... You know what? Should I do another 3? Should I do... Nice c3. I think I'm going to play the, the Vienna. So I'm going to do nice c3. And the Vienna, like I said in the uh, a few lessons ago, it's not as popular as not f3, but it's a good opening. And we actually went over the Fianchetta variation. And I like it because it's easy to remember and it doesn't vary that much. So we don't have to memorize so many variations. So I'm just putting my bishop on g2, my knight goes to e2 and this is not going to change unless the black pieces do something drastic so I castle this is where my pieces go typically so I'm pretty much um, finishing with the opening already and by the way in case you're not familiar 3-2 uh, means you start with three minutes like we did but every time you make a move uh, they add two seconds to your timer Okay, so d3 we know it's necessary to open up this bishop. He typically goes to e3 or to g5. So I'm going to go to g5. I'm creating a pin on the on the queen. And I also see this move. You see he's attacking my castle. So I'm going to take it with the bishop. And he's welcome to sacrifice. See, he sacrificed it. So he's hoping to attack my king. Now, don't be that concerned because... Um, this bishop typically acts like a pawn, so if it looks a little bit scary, but if you think of this bishop as a pawn, you're pretty much uh, safe. So let's see what he's going to do. So he's trying to take on f2, his queen is coming to h4, and then he's putting a lot of pressure on h2 and f2, so I have to act accordingly. Mm, well, I think it's necessary to just go... Hmm. Let me see. How can I protect? Well, I'm thinking of doing h3, but he's going to take on f2, rook takes, queen h4. Huh, I think I have enough time to defend. So I'm going to go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So h3, he takes. No, he's not going to take. So h3, he takes on f2, rook takes, queen h4. I need to protect f2. And then he could do bishop takes h3. So this is not as easy as it seems. Well, I could take with the bishop. So I think I'm fine. So h3 is the move. But you see, I have to calculate. I make a mistake, and I'm done. So he had to go back. Now I feel better. Um, well, I'm coming in now with my knight. So I cannot just defend. I need to do something to come back into the game. So now if the queen leaves, I might even take on c7 to create a fork. So... It's not only the openings that we learned, it's also the tactics and everything else. All right, so he doesn't like my knight there. That's good. Um, well, let me bring the other knight. So if he takes, I take back. And by the way, guys, if... Oh, no, he's actually trying to bring more pieces to attack. Well, fair enough. I'm bringing my queen. You know what they say, the best defense is the attack, right? Or something like that. <laughs> so let me see. I need to move my knight. He knows he needs to attack me because if he doesn't, if he's not successful putting me in checkmate, he's down already because he sacrificed a rook for one of my bishops. Now this knight might even go to might even go to f5 or g4. All right, so he's happy with that. Not a big deal. 
copy take. <laughs> oh, let me just simplify a few pieces. I'm still winning by two points. It says up down here, and it should be fine. If I just stay away from trouble, it should be fine. Now, I have to be careful. This guy's at 2315, so he definitely knows what he's doing. And he's where's he from? All right. So he took. I have to take back. Now I'm threatening to do g5, not only attacking this knight, but blocking the queen from protecting him. My only concern, to be honest, is this bishop. This is a very uncomfortable bishop pinning my pawn, putting pressure on my king. So that's the only thing that bothers me a little. Alright, so maybe we do g5. Where is he gonna go if we go to g5? Oh no, I see where he's going. He's going to f4. Oh, mm, 92. So you see, I'm preventing him from going to f4. Then I could do g5, I think. And if I have time, oh look, we have the same amount of time more or less. If I have time, I want to attack his king too. His king is in the center. So it's not like he's, okay, he's putting more pressure on f2. I'm safe. So let me actually attack this knight. Alright, I don't want him to castle, he's going to take on b2, well, so this move is because I don't want his king to castle, if he castles it's going to be hard for me to get to him. I'm, I'm aware that he could take on b2, but we talked also about the poison pawn, so if he takes I could do rook b1 and then get to the 7th rank. So taking this pawn on b2 not always is a good idea. All right, it doesn't look like he's even concerned about that. All right, let's get the king out of here. So I'm just getting away from this pin. He didn't even take. Oh, now he wants to take on b2 because he, he puts the rook here. Okay, now I'm threatening checkmate, so he needs to do something about that. He has 20 seconds left, so... There's a lot going on. My other rook that is doing nothing might come to the open file. Ooh, this is not looking good for him. Well, what if I just go here now? See, I just want to do checkmate. My rook cannot help me anymore. I'm bringing the light square bishop to help. Ooh, he didn't see it. So, checkmate. I shouldn't have told you guys. Uh, I should have challenged you to find it. But So, look, I had enough time to finish the game. Queen f7, checkmate. And this was, again, a very strong player, but we just kept it simple. We played our opening, we got out of the opening safely, and then we went on to attack.